Hi and welcome back to Kia's Creation. So today I'm going to make two 100% natural um, hair products. One will be a shampoo and one will be a conditioner. I'm going to try to make these, you know, as quick as possible. As I always say, I just prefer to kind of make things that are going to um, not take a super long time to make. Now keep in mind, because these are completely natural products, you will have to use a preservative. There are natural preservatives available. Um, otherwise, you're gonna have to either use them right away or store them in the refrigerator. So let's go ahead and get started on the shampoo to begin with. So in this bowl, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna make our natural shampoo using this shikakai powder. And I found this on Amazon. It came in like a pack with um, the Brahmi and you know uh, was it Amla and a few other uh, hair growth powders so this one is the one that they refer to as the soap nut and um, so it does provide like cleansing properties which is what we're gonna experiment with today okay so I don't have exact measurements on this I'm gonna try to just go along and wing it to make these products for you guys so just bear with me um, so as I mentioned first up is going to be the natural shampoo so let's get started so what I'm gonna use first for this shampoo is um, I have this uh, sea moss which is the sea moss gel that I made earlier in the week so with the sea moss gel it it already comes you know once you um, make it into a gel it's already pretty thick so I'm gonna say I'm gonna use about two tablespoons two tablespoons of that sea moss gel and next up I'm going to use about a half tablespoon of the glycerin. This is a vegetable glycerin. Let me show you. So this is a vegetable glycerin that I'm using. So I'm using about a half, I'm sorry, half tablespoon. Um, and again, I'm not sure if I said tablespoons or teaspoons with the uh, sea moss, but two tablespoons of sea moss, one half, tablespoon of vegetable glycerin I'm also going to use some aloe vera gel so with the aloe vera I'm going to use about I'm thinking maybe two tablespoons of this as well Now let's add our shikakai powder. And as you know, the vegetable glycerin is a humectant, so it draws moisture to the hair, which helps to keep it soft. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna add about a tablespoon of this shikakai powder. Now keep in mind this is not going to look like your typical shampoo. This is a natural shampoo, herbal shampoo, so just keep that in mind. So you want to just mix this up really, really well. To try to like you know just blend out any um, clumps that may be still in there and just so that you can kind of see the consistency here it's not the most uh, aesthetically pleasing <laughs> to the eye but if you're looking for just a simple 
natural shampoo again the shikakai powder is what they call soap nut and it does give um a natural cleansing factor to this so this is a way to just make up a really quick easy uh shampoo and this is enough for like one a one-time use you can double this recipe if you want and uh produce more <laughs> excuse my daughter in the background she wants to be heard too i think so but um yeah so this is the consistency that you should be looking for so this should give you a really mild cleansing so that's that let's move on to the conditioner now now for the conditioner i am going to be using i have this herbal hair oil mixture you might have seen this as well on uh, amazon now typically what you're supposed to do is i use this and i make uh herbal oil typically what you're supposed to do with this is um take the herbs that's in here and let it uh, soak in oil like coconut oil or olive oil or any kind of oil and um, until the um, herbs kind of ferment into the oil and then it will start changing colors and it makes this herbal hair growth oil however I decided to boil it today okay and we came up with kind of like an herbal tea from it and this is what we're going to use for our conditioner okay so now keep in mind i also make body butters and you know this is this is um like a cream moisturizer that i make it is a natural product um so i don't have any um uh, additives in here that aren't natural so this is what i'm going to use as my base um uh, now if you don't really mind um using you know uh, products that have additives in there any like really thick cream base will work uh, to make your conditioner like body cream or you can make your own uh, body cream body butter um, I should have a recipe on uh, the site here if not I'll try to add that a little bit later but it's pretty um, easy any like simple lotion uh, natural lotion recipe should work or body cream recipe so what I'm gonna do is and keep in mind, I'm just kind of winging this, so <laughs> measurements may not be exact. So I have this big, like, maybe tablespoon. And I'm going to start with a scoop of this uh, body butter uh, moisturizer that I make. And I'm going to add that. Now what we're going to do next is... Okay, so I'm going to mix this just a little bit to kind of blend it. Um, also, what we're going to do is add the... I have some aloe vera powder because I just think aloe vera works wonders in the hair. So I have some aloe vera powder that I want to add to it. Not a whole lot, but I'm going to add about one teaspoon of aloe vera powder and just a forewarning aloe vera powder inhaling this stuff is like super duper strong it's super strong so just giving you a heads up <laughs> so i'm adding a teaspoon of this aloe vera powder everything that i'm I'm showing you guys here I purchased on Amazon so no worries I'm also going to use some fenugreek powder now you could use fenugreek seeds and add it to your uh, tea but I couldn't find mine so I'm just going to use the fenugreek powder so I'm going to use about a teaspoon of that as well okay And you just want to mix these two together. What should I say? These three. <coughs> it's pretty strong. Okay, so. And 
And everything that I'm making, like I said, these two products are one-time use. Like if you double the recipe, you would um, apply those. Um, as I mentioned in the beginning of the video, you would um, add a preservative or, you know, so you would apply those precautions that I mentioned earlier to that. All right, so you also want to add some glycerin. Now, keep in mind, you can add um, panthenol, you know, the vitamin B12. You can add, um, um, there's a few other, like, hair softening items I haven't in other videos that you can you can add so you don't have to use glycerin if your hair does not work with uh, vegetable glycerin but that's just what I'm adding here so I'm going to add about a teaspoon of vegetable glycerin to this conditioner as well and lastly so we're gonna mix this up and then lastly, we're just gonna add some of that herbal tea mixture to it. All right, so we have our herbal tea here. I'm gonna go with maybe a tablespoon of this herbal tea mixture. So let's start with a tablespoon and see how that works out. And the remainder of your um, tea, you can always, um, you know, put it up for like later. So doesn't go to waste or you can find another recipe to use it in so I think this is a pretty good I think this is a pretty good consistency you know obviously you can make it as thick as you want or as thin as you want I may do another maybe like half teaspoon because this is pretty thick so so I use one tablespoon of the herbal tea and I think I'm going to add one teaspoon as well. So one tablespoon and then one teaspoon. Yeah, so that looks pretty perfect. Simple, easy. And again, these are herbal or Ayurvedic um, treatment. So this should help with hair strength and hair growth. And um, if that's what you guys are looking for, again, all natural products. So you don't have to worry about putting anything uh, unnatural or unhealthy in your hair. So this is the, this is how the conditioner looks now. And obviously, like I said, that uh, color comes from the um, the tea as well as the fenugreek powder and the aloe vera powder so there you have it this is the finished conditioner and this is the finished shampoo as you can see it has more of a gel consistency to it and I'm going to try this uh, in a bit and I'll try to share in another video um, the results, like how effective it was with the sudsing and cleansing. So, anywho, if you guys enjoy this video, uh, feel free to like and subscribe and stay tuned for more videos. Thank you for watching Kita's Creations and God bless. Bye.